Hello everyone, Ray Silver here, also known as Silver Fox Stacker, and I want to thank you for watching this very important video. In a surprising turn of events, the global financial sphere is witnessing the emergence of a revolutionary concept, central bank digital currencies, CBDCs. What's even more astonishing is the revelation that CBDCs might have originated from an unlikely source, North Korea. As nations scramble to adapt to this innovative financial technology, a wave of changes is sweeping across various sectors, including the legalization of drugs in anticipation of CBDC integration. The traditional financial system, with its reliance on physical cash and centralized banking institutions, has long been due for a transformation. The advent of cryptocurrencies led by Bitcoin introduced the world to decentralized digital currencies. However, it wasn't until the concept of CBDCs gained traction that governments and central banks truly began exploring the potential of digitizing their currencies. At the forefront of this digital currency revolution is North Korea, a country not typically associated with cutting-edge financial innovations. Reports have surfaced suggesting that North Korea has been developing its own CBDC as a means to bypass international sanctions and gain access to global financial markets. Despite its isolation from much of the world, North Korea's alleged involvement in CBDC development underscores the widespread implications of this emerging technology. The integration of CBDCs into the global financial system presents a myriad of opportunities and challenges. On one hand, CBDCs promise greater financial inclusion, reduced transaction costs, and enhanced transparency. On the other hand, they raise concerns about privacy, security, and the potential for increased government surveillance. Nevertheless, nations around the world are increasingly exploring the implementation of CBDCs, recognizing the need to adapt to the digital age. One notable consequence of CBDC adoption is the shifting attitude towards certain illicit activities, particularly the legalization of drugs. As governments prepare for the transition to digital currencies, some have begun to reassess their stance on drug policy. The rationale behind this shift is multifaceted. Legalizing drugs could help undermine illicit drug markets, reduce associated criminal activity, generate tax revenue, and create new economic opportunities. Moreover, with CBDCs offering a more transparent and traceable means of conducting financial transactions, the argument for regulating drugs becomes more compelling. By bringing drug transactions into the formal economy, governments can exert greater control and oversight, mitigating risks associated with money laundering and illicit financial flows. Several jurisdictions have already taken steps towards drug legalization in anticipation of CBDC integration. From cannabis to psychedelics, substances once deemed taboo are now being re-evaluated through the lens of public health, harm reduction, and economic pragmatism. Uruguay, Canada, and several U.S. states have led the way in cannabis legalization, demonstrating the potential for regulated drug markets to coexist with responsible government oversight. As the global landscape continues to evolve, the integration of CBDCs and the legalization of drugs represent two sides of the same coin. A paradigm shift towards a more digitized, interconnected, and progressive world. While challenges undoubtedly lie ahead, the momentum behind these transformative initiatives suggests that we are on the brink of a new era in finance and governance. In conclusion, the emergence of CBDCs purportedly originating from North Korea is reshaping the global financial landscape. This digital revolution not only promises greater efficiency and inclusivity, but also necessitates a re-evaluation of existing policies and attitudes. The legalization of drugs, driven in part by the advent of CBDCs, underscores the interconnectedness of financial innovation and social change. As nations navigate this uncharted territory, collaboration, innovation, and adaptability 
will be essential in harnessing the full potential of CBDCs and realizing a more equitable and sustainable future. Thank you for watching this very important video. Be sure to like this video and please subscribe to the channel to help us grow. Leave us a comment, we would love to know what the CBDC is like where you are. Bonus joke. Why did Kim Jong-un start taking credit for the CBDC? Because he realized his daughter's innovation was worth more than his political clout. She's the real currency genius in the family. Ha 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 ha. The Kims seem like the kind of family able to take a good joke.